Hello everyone, this is Wes James, and I'm here to bring you my very first Premiere Pro Cool Effect. With FCPX coming out this week, I thought it was time to show you how to do cool things inside of Premiere Pro. Like I did with my first Final Cut Pro tutorial, I'll show you how to do diagonal split screening inside of Premiere Pro. Here's what we're going to be learning how to do today. This effect can be done a few ways, but I'll show you how I achieved it using diagonal mats created in Photoshop. First, bring three clips into your timeline with each of them superimposed on each other. Go to your effects browser and type offset and select the offset filter and apply it to your three clips. This will come in handy in just a few seconds. Go back to your effects browser and type image mat and select the image mat key. And apply that filter to all three clips as well. Now, this is where the fun starts to happen. Select the clip on track three and go to the effects control. Change the composite using from mat alpha to mat luma. The next step will only work if you download the diagonal map PNGs I provided below. Click on the Setup button. Go to the folder containing the mats. Select the diagonal left mat PNG and hit Open. Now, the clip will take on the shape of the diagonal left mat. Use the offset filter to adjust the portion of the clip you want to highlight. Let's repeat this step for the other two clips. For the clip on track 2, change the composite using from Mat Alpha to Mat Luma, click on the Setup button, go to the folder containing your mats, and this time, click on the Diagonal Center mat and hit Open. For the clip on track 1, also change the composite using from Mat Alpha to Mat Luma. Click on the Setup button. Go to the folder once again containing the mats. And select Diagonal Right PNG and hit Open. Let's use the Offset filter to adjust the Shift Center so we can highlight the girl in the clip. Once you've applied your mats and adjusted their positions with the offset filter, it's time to animate them. Select the clip on track 3. Go to the effects control and set a keyframe at the end point of the clip for the position parameter. Move the play at 15 frames. Set another keyframe for a position. Go back to your first keyframe and drag the clip off to the left side diagonally. Now the clip animates its position in a diagonal motion from the left. Let's animate the other two clips as well. For the clip on track 2, set a keyframe for the position 15 frames from the clip's endpoint. Move the play at 15 frames and set another keyframe for position. Go back to the first keyframe and drag the clip off to the left side diagonally off screen and try to make sure it doesn't intersect with the clip on the right. For the clip on track 1, set a keyframe for the position 1 second from its endpoint. Move the play at another 15 frames and set a keyframe for its position as well. Go back to the first keyframe and drag the clip up diagonally off screen and try to make sure it doesn't intersect with the clip on track 2. Let's run into this and see what we got. And we're back. Let's move our playhead to the beginning of our three clips. Let's press spacebar to play forward.
There you go. Diagonal split screening inside of Premiere Pro CS5. This effect could be achieved using the linear white filter or garbage matte filter, but I felt that they didn't yield satisfactory results. Feel free to use this on your next project. Also in the folder I provided are additional mats as well as a PSD file so that you can modify it to fit the dimensions of your project. I would like to wish all my friends and subscribers a happy Father's Day to those that apply. There has been news that Final Cut Pro X will be coming out this week, so be on the lookout. I will continue to do tutorials for both Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro, and possibly in the future After Effects, so keep watching. Some will look alike, and some will be program specific. But until then, stay creative.